This video demonstrates how to read from a file. And so what we have is a program that generates a histogram for five values. I want to show what that looks like. Here's the histogram on the left. There are two zeros, which is what this variable count zero is, so two of those. There's one one, which is what how many are is in count one, four twos, six threes, and three fours. Now what we'd like to do is read from a file to get these counts. So in the file there's going to be 20 numbers and those numbers are between 0 and 4 and we want to count how many zeros there are, how many 1s, 2s, 3s, and 4s and then we're going to produce a histogram. So as long as we load up these variables with the correct count then we're going to be getting the correct histogram. So let's work on that fix me. The first step is we want to open a file so let's create a an input file stream we'll call it nfs and let's open nfs okay we'll compile we have an error line 7 that's on our declaration telling us the aggregate has incomplete type that's an easy one that's because we're needing to include f stream whenever working with files okay and now we got an error on line 10 when we're opening and there's no matching function call to open and this is quite a confusing message what am I trying to open I'm trying to open the file 20 nums so I'm not actually passing that into open I'm just saying open something so what I'm actually trying to open is this file 20 nums let's take a look at that file it's got 20 numbers in it alright so I need to tell open I need to tell to open the file 20 nums and I'm sending that in as a string literal and okay there we go no errors when we explicitly tell which file to open by passing the parameter as a string literal okay we execute the program and we get the same histogram that we had before because we haven't actually changed what the counts are that's fine uh, next good step is to check if the file actually opened so is this open and the function is open returning either true or false and if it's false then we have an issue because that means the file didn't open and that means we can't proceed forward so I'm going to create a message saying could not open nums.txt so I'll be more explicit of what I couldn't open and then I'm going to return 1 and 1 indicates an error usually we return 0 at the end of a program and 0 means no errors but if we return a 1, it means, okay, we've got an error. Okay, let's see if this has gone well. And it has. Program runs. Now that we've opened the file, what we can do is read from that file. And we just use, just like we did with cin, we use the extraction operator. And I'll pass this into, I'm going to create a variable here called num. I'm going to pass this to the variable num. And then I'll output num just so we can see what that looks like. So we should read in one number and then output that number. Okay, so it output the number three and then it created the histogram. Why did it output the number three? Let's take a look at the file 20 nums. The first number is a three. That would explain why it output the number three. How about if we did this for a second number what are we going to get? So we output, we get the first number and output a three, and then we get a second number and output that number. Is that the way it works? Let's see. Compile and execute. So we got three and then a zero. Why did we get a three and a zero? The first number is a three, the second number is a zero. Okay, that's making sense. Now we could do this 20 times, but I think it'll be faster if we just use a loop. So we'll loop 20 times and we'll get the number and then output that number. We'll do that 20 times. Let's see how that works. Compile and execute. And there we are. I believe that is exactly what 20 nums looks like. So 30300, 30300. Okay. Awesome. So we're reading in the entire file, and each iteration of the loop, we get one value. So what do we want to do with that value? Well, if that value is equal to zero, then we want to increment our counter for zero. Okay, 
Now, of course, we want to initialize our counters to 0, so before I go incrementing count 0, we're going to actually want to initialize the counters to be 0. So I'm going to do that simply by setting each of the counters to 0. And here, if the number we read is 0, then we're going to increment count 0. So let's compile and execute. And we're getting a histogram showing six zeros. Is that true? Are there actually six zeros? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, there's six zeros. Cool. So what if the number were one? Well, if that's the case, then we want to increment the counter for number one. Let's compile and execute. Then we have two ones. Is that actually correct? Is there only two ones? That's the first and the second one. Oh yeah, there are only two ones. All right, well, we can finish this pattern. So we want to get twos, threes, and fours. So we'll say two, three, four. I'll make that a three. And we'll do the same here, two, three, four. Now we compile, execute, and we have a histogram based on the number of zeros through fours in the file we're reading. Thank you.